Hey everybody, this is The Loneliest Show. Welcome to my show. I know I have not been active for a, for a good month, I know. And um, and yeah, you probably thought, oh, this dude quit already, you know, he's not going to do it. Look, I was taking some time off. I think I might have started a little too fast. And I, I kind of depleted myself. You know, I wanted to do it every, every you know, other week. And it wasn't going well for me because... You know, you just have to do editing and, and, and for yourself doing everything like scheduling, you know, trying to schedule a show. It's kind of difficult. And um, in those days, there was like fires and, you know, the COVID thing still was going on. But look, I'm back and we're going to keep doing the show. I'll probably do just two or three a month, which are going to be a little long, a little lengthy. And then I'll just um, cut it down into bits like into clips in my in my YouTube channel so you could be you know it'll be easier to consume than just a full show. I know a lot of people don't wa like watching a full show and I understand that and I'll try to make it more easier to watch. Um so today let's see what I'm I'm be I'm going to be drinking this fruit cart. It's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. You ever guys ever tried fruit cart? Hand seltzer, heart oh, hand seltzer, hard seltzer. Uh, strawberry pineapple they also have other flavors too but the only one that they have at my store is the strawberry pineapple 4% alcohol 113 calories not bad very flavorful it, it kind of looks like punch <sighs> I haven't drank since Saturday <laughs> um, there was there was a lot of fighting Saturday we we'll gonna be talking about that in a bit I have my uh, notes in my phone. You know, so a couple things, you know, that happened while I was gone. Um, and I know my show's gonna be changing a lot because whatever's you know trending or whatever's going on in the world, I'm gonna put into my notes and talk about it a little bit. And that's what basically is my show, the loneliest show, and also talk about movies and stuff. So that's that's what's gonna be. So first things first, Trump got the COVID, and. I mean, did you expect it? Did you expect it or not? Man doesn't put on a mask. He fucking has fucking rallies all the time. Uh, he's a denier of science. Uh, he doesn't think masks work. Um, you know, he survived the treatment. He survived the treatment because he's the president, of course. They gave him this cocktail full of. They put on, they popped him up full of drugs. The man's what, 75 years old. Um, 75 years old. Put him on steroids. He's like, man, this is the best I've ever felt in a long time. No shit. You were on steroids. You know, I was on steroids for a bit. I was. I. I had a. I was coming down. I was. I had the effects of a, like of a like a ear infection. And it's and it went all the way down to my nose, my nose, my nose, my neck, and my neck was uh, my neck was a little stiff, so, I, you know, the doctors like, do you need anything else? I was like, yeah, my neck is a little stiff, and and since you know my my job requires me to do a lot of head movement and stuff, it got it got a lot of it got a little bit worse. So, the doctor gave me some some steroids and some antibiotics for my. Uh, for my uh, my ear infection and look it, it, the steroids only lasted for like two weeks he didn't give me that much it was for and like a, a, inflammation I had a lot of inflammation in my neck um, you know the, the all the drugs they put you you know they they, they kind of tend to uh, wear down on you for a bit but look when I was on stories man I felt like I felt like 18 16 I feel so young. I'm right now. I'm 25, uh, 24. So, if it make me, it made me feel so good. And my job requires me to do a lot of uh, heavy lifting and all that. I didn't feel, sh you know. Steroids. They're a <laughs> they're a miracle drug. I I'll tell you that much. They will get you pumped. And did I feel like did I have roid rage like roid rage as they say? <laughs> I'm not one to get angry like a lot. I just tend to like hold things back and I'm like, ah, whatever. I'll let that shit go. So uh, like I didn't really feel that, but I did feel strength and my my cojones, you know, they 
they're like they went they shrunk down a little bit because of it you can yes you do your 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 cojones do shrink but once you stop doing it it comes back it comes back so you know I can see why Trump was so pumped and he, he went on this tirade on Twitter you know good thing I don't use Twitter because it would be annoying to have that dude all the time listen to his tweets I would not want to good thing I'm on, on Instagram go follow me on Instagram just hectic underscore um, what else So you see, like I said, he, he denied the masks. He uh, he had a a debate with uh, Biden, you know, and uh, he I I what well, he had a debate with Biden, and they thought, you know, he after that debate he uh, you know tested you know uh, what is it positive for for COVID, and there was like there's a couple of rumors saying that Trump knew that he went in you know infected and wanted to affect Biden because he was so low on his poll numbers that he wanted to you know like the cheater he is and you know him wants he wants to put that you know he wants to turn you know put him down and and you know Biden is 80 years old so he's five years older than him so it could affect him more than Trump and Trump and Biden is not the president but I'm pretty sure he'll get some good um, you know medical uh, and just be looked at by a good doctor than most Americans do have because Trump most than anybody else like if he was just a regular guy and not the president he'll probably be having more trouble and then they gave him they gave him all these experimental drugs which kind of boosted him and made him uh, you know survive it in less than less than a week also the the elections in a couple days too so a couple weeks so it's it's hard to know like what's actually gonna happen because you know when we had Hillary run against Trump we thought Hillary was gonna win with the poll number she did win the popularity but she she lost the electoral college and that that's what ultimately gave Trump the election the presidency for having the most uh, Republicans uh, uh, was a candidates to winning the the election I mean, he didn't win the people, but he won the the house, right? He won the house. Suck. So, now we have all these Republicans, and they have control over the Supreme Court, which, you know, now now you know Ruth Bader Ginsburg died recently. Um, now they have a, an open space to um, to elect a new Supreme Court nominee that'll last bas basically until they die. So I think it's it's kind of stupid to have somebody, you know, it's kind of like a like they're basically like kings in a way because they just stay there for a long time and then w like wait until they die and then somebody else get picked by their party or by you know whoever whichever party is the um, the elected party that's that has the White House right now and right now it's of course it's Donald Trump and they didn't give Obama his nominee when he was you know. He was running for president, you know, that turtle Mitch McConnell, what a piece of shit he is. Does not honor his words, does not honor uh, the system that, that he put in that, that supposedly like, no, we're not going to give, you know, we're not going to give a new Supreme Court nominee, you know, when the election's happening and now, now it's happening and then boom, there we go. These fucking assholes go in and, um. And they and they they nominate uh, this chick called uh, Amy Cohen Barrett, who I think has been only a judge for like four years, and and is kind of a right winger, <laughs> which you know with her being there will you know effectively uh, you know if they try to challenge Ro uh, Roe v Wade again, uh, it might flip, and because she's a very Catholic woman, she has all these kids and. And she goes by the the Constitution and whatever you know, so she's 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 very um di like direct in the book supposedly, which you know it's it's kind of a bad thing too sometimes because sometimes rules are are meant to change when they don't fit the 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 current climate. 
you know, like slavery, of course, you know, they don't fit anymore, so they took it out, and you, you can't own any slaves unless you're in jail. All right, yeah, so, yeah, and then, the, then also Trump refused to debate uh, Biden again because we saw what happened. He's an asshole who never answers a fucking question in his life. Never answers a question, and he's always rambling and rambling about other people and other people's mistakes, but not him. Not him, right? It's not his fault. It's not his fault. It's never his fault. All those people that died, not my fault. You know, they said it was gonna be two million, but it's only 200,000. He makes it sound like, well, I mean, it's not that bad. Dude, people died. What are you talking about? People died. You knew the, the sickness was happening. You you told that fucking reporter, what's his name? Um, that old guy that always catches presidents doing shit. And, and, he, and he told him, yeah, I mean, it's pretty bad. Like, it's probably worse than the flu. I forgot that guy's name. But, yeah, he, he told him everything he knew. He basically said, said everything. And he's still, he's still like, ah, I mean, I didn't really mean it. Like, what the, f dude, come on, come on, just say it. He's, so, he has so much pride, man. Has so much pride. Well, they also mentioned, you know, they talked about uh, him denouncing the Proud Boys, which he finally did in the the town hall. But in the, you know, in the first uh, debate with Biden, he didn't want to do it. Um, jumping back and forth on the question at hand and, um, you know, stand, you know, stand by, you know, stand down and stand by what he was saying. And it's just, you know, these are all his voters. Of course, he's not going to, he knows that all these, these voters, these low, uh, lo these low educated vo voters will vote for him because he's, they're stupid and they'll vote for him because He's for the evangelicals and for the for the army and for the boys and for the you know forget everybody else. It's America first. So, but it's not always the you know the poor or the low educated people first. No, it's it's more of the richer people and the people that are already at top that he he helps. It's more of you know. It's it's socialism for the rich. There's no socialism for the poor. They'll never give it to the poor. They don't like the poor. So they hate third world, uh, you know, third world places because they they think they're shitholes. And um, they're they're infected <clears throat> with diseases and and they don't take vac vaccinations, which at the same time they don't believe in. They're like, no, I mean. The, you know, vaccines cause autism. And look at these look at these studies here, which show that I am right. Which is are only like two out of what, like ninety eight fucking pages that are there. It's quite rare to get any form of. Um, look, it's possible to, you know, to there be a you know a, a problem with a vaccine might be. You know, tainted or something, but it's not all the time, dude. It's it's like a rare, very rare, just like voter fraud. You know, like these guys like to point fingers, but these guys, these are these guys are the one doing it. They 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 flip on things just so their their voters, the people that don't believe in science, so they can have those people that don't believe in science, you know, in their hands. They want them to vote for them. They're like, no, we understand you. Yeah, yeah. You guys, yeah, like, man, man, science, it's weird. Pray instead. Prayers work, right? <laughs> instead of actual vaccines and medicine, right? That's how crazy the world is still, like, not, I mean, the whole world, yes, it's crazy, but in this part of the United States where we have medicine and all that, they still don't believe in it. They still don't want to use it. They still don't want to use resources that are given to them. Mm. 
So yeah, like the Supreme Court sucks. The stim stimulus checks are still being debated over while people are still jobless. There's, you know, there's still people, you know, unemployed jobs that are, you know, have, you know, are never coming back. You know, financial chaos right now with all, like, a lot of stores. Um, and of course, you know, th these funds are being used by big corporations that are taking away uh, the money that could be used for mom and pop stores and are, and are being taken by by the Shake Shack and fucking Burger King or whichever kind of you know conglomerate it is like that they don't really need it they're just like yeah we're just um we're just losing a little bit of money and they, they wind up getting all these monies because all these loopholes these contracts have or, or these applications have or you know just corruption there just corruption in the in the whole whole it doesn't work that well it doesn't work that well and and then they run out of money to give the rest of the people you know it sucks um I mean yeah California right now is still on fire uh like when I went on vacations um I went on vacations when it was on I think when I got out right I think when oh yeah yeah so like a, a week later I went back to work and I was like what the hell happened to the whole sky it looked like a like a snap you know like a filter like an Instagram filter it was like a there was a weird hue you know like nothing you never seen before and 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 then they were like saying it was supposed to be hot that day I was like what the hell happened it was supposed to be hot today and because of this this smoke cloud like <laughs> like no like it's cold it, there was like a in a, a cloud of smoke covering the sunshine which was supposed to be hot isn't that amazing and then people are gonna be like well look climate change doesn't matter like it doesn't you it doesn't it's not happening because the smoke is making everything colder right no there's only this part I mean the, the smoke is gonna affect it later on and uh, yeah, it's pretty bad right now in California and in Seattle. Shit's still burning out there, and I know people live nearby those places and all these pla all these uh, uh, you know, since we're near in California here in Hollywood and San Bernardino and all those other um, uh, you know people live in the valley and up in the mountains. They they're getting burnt. People's people's houses are fucking they're gone. Hopefully they have insurance. I mean, they they must because leaving somewhere right there, you never know when there's gonna be a forest fire, right? So they, they must offer you some sort of uh, uh, you know fire um, insurance for your for your house burning down. Well, here's a funny story that I heard recently, probably like two weeks ago, and and it's been happening in a couple of while. I I, ha I haven't heard about it in a while. I guess he must be back, cause the this or he or she who knows, cause they don't know who it is. Some guy on a jetpack flying around California and well near by the L A L A X area, and it, it's it's pretty illegal to be flying. Um, it's I mean. It's illegal because of the planes and stuff. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. The you know, and and, and anywhere you go, it might might be like a, a military base or or you know, you, you could be going next to a hospital that needs to land. You know, their helicopter because they don't know who this is. And I think it's like a the, you know, jetpacks exist. These jet these jetpacks are like he, like heavy. And they only can la they last for only for a bit though. I don't know what kind of jetpack does that guy have because he's all the way up, up next to the like an airplane. So, so uh, like there's also the like the ones that the Green Goblin has like the disc ones. Um, but that's crazy. It's just we wander flying cars, but instead we're getting jetpacks.
But we can't even we can't even fly up in the sky because everything's owned by airplanes. That air traffic, man, sucks. Imagine the, just traffic everywhere now. On the ground, in the sky. Too luxurious. The Lakers won, you know, nobody gives a shit. I'll tell you right now, nobody cares. Nobody cares. LeBron, eh. I saw him lose, and then they won. I'm like, what the hell? It's like giving them a second chance. Damn. I don't, I don't understand basketball. Like, I don't even watch basketball that much. Just because one of my friends asked me to watch it. Uh, he was like, let's go watch it. Let's go, um... Out and eat and, and watch it out there. Good thing I didn't catch any Rona, because uh, we were. I mean, we were outside and we was drinking and. But we're like we <laughs> we went in the worst time because these dudes were like, yeah, we had a reservation. We got a reservation uh, for ten people, and um, and I was like here at my house watching the boys, you know, the finale. And they're like, yeah, they're, they're, they're telling us to go right now. I was like, they're going to give us a ride. I was like, but I'm trying to watch the boys. I'm trying to finish it. And he was like, all right, we're just, we're just, tell, you know, we're telling them to, uh, we're, we're telling them, we're telling them we'll go later, right? And we go later and we go later and, and, and we're telling them how much we're going to have to wait for their, for their table. They're like, oh, just about an hour. We're like an hour, dude. And you're like, yeah, an hour. I was like, oh, fuck, fine. An hour, that's fine, fine, whatever. Never. I, and I'm, I was getting free food anyways, cause my my homie was like, hey, uh, nah, it's on me, food. Let's go. And and uh, and it's and it's on me, you know. And I was like, oh, fuck it, let's go. And we go, and they're they're playing the game, and it was like a wing place. It was a, I had wings, like you know, like bone bone in wings. Which is one of my favorite. I don't, I don't like that at all. Boneless. That's, that's more like a nugget, I think. And I don't know what that, what's inside that nugget. I don't like, like, I, I only, the only nugget I like is probably from McDonald's. And it's probably one of the worst nuggets. But, look, the, I like the bone-in nugget, like the bone-in uh, uh, chicken wings. The, the legs or whatever. And, probably the one. The mango habanero. The mango habanero is one of my favorites. Um, I don't like the dry ones, like the the parmesan or whatever it's called. <coughs> lemon pepper. I'm not a big fan of the lemon pepper. <coughs> I'll go for like teriyaki, Hawaiian sauces and all that, but I'm not. I'm not much into the. But but at that place, it had the, this lemon pepper, and I thought it was good. Maybe I maybe at the wing stop I don't like the lemon pepper, but at that place it was pretty good. Like most of the food was pretty good. I liked it. I got we got some uh, some potato skins, and we ordered some uh, we ordered some chili cheese fries and like a, a thirty of wings and. Uh, and then we got, I got this uh, spicy lemon cart, which is like, uh, it's like a, like a michelada, but it's not even michelada. It's just like the, the chili, around the the rim, and um, the it's like a mango, a mango like this like this kind of beer, but um, but mango, and it, they put like probably like, like more chili in there to like spice it up, I think. But it was pretty good. I liked it. But it, like till we got there, it was like it 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 was like the the seats were reserved for the whole game. Nobody left, and we were next. And right when the game ended, which 
which was like at nine or something, and we only had like thirty minutes to eat. Cause they're like, oh, final call is at nine thirty, so we still had another um, well until ten to leave, which I thought it was pretty cool. They're like, they're like, yeah, we get it. Um, I guess we're waiting for a while. We feel kind of bad, but they got those guys reserved their, their their seats already for the whole game. I was like, we're like, oh, fine, it's cool. Sorry, d during the meantime, we we're just uh, there was like a Seven Eleven right there closed. And we want to get these, these bad boys. One of my, one of my uh, homies' friend re recommended it. He was like, "Get these." He likes them. And he always drinking them. I was like, "Oh fuck!" I was like, "Are they good?" He was like, "Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty good." So I got like, I got like one of them at first. I was like, I thought we were gonna. I didn't know about the whole situation until they told us later. So I only had one, and then I was like, "Ah!" And I finished it. They let us drink outside because it was like. A, well, well, since everybody's eating, watching the game, they're like, "Yeah, we we let people eat out, uh, we let people drink outside and stuff." So, so I went to, I went again to Seven Eleven, got another one. And and I, and I finished it again, and it was like still an hour, another hour to eat. But I was like, no, nah, I haven't ate any, I haven't ate anything since like um, since like eight thirty. So if I drink another one, another tall can, it's gonna mess me up. I'm gonna start throwing up later. I'm I'm pretty weak, guys. I'm pretty weak. I don't drink that much. Especially like if I don't have, if I'm in an empty stomach, I have to be in a full stomach to not throw up. Cause I don't like if my my body doesn't send any food. They're like, oh no, and I start, I start eating, you know. Uh, so yeah, that was fun. The Lakers. It's all right. Nah, next time, guys. When it's not COVID and you guys are not in a bubble, maybe it'll be more respectable. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. I'm sorry. Um. I'm well, talking about the fights now. Um, so on Saturday, last Saturday, we I saw um, Fight Night with uh, Brian Ortega and the Korean Zombie, and I thought it, w it was a decision win to our Ortega. And look, he, for him being gone for two years, he looked pretty good, and he surprised me with his boxing. I thought his boxing was. Um, gonna be the same I thought he was gonna evolve but he said like in the interview yeah he, uh, he, he he's evolved and the, the guy you know, he's got a heck of a chin Korean zombie he's got a chin too but he gets hit a lot he gets hit a lot and 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 Brian let's let's be honest Brian got hit too in this in the beginning of his career a lot and <laughs> you know, right until the like, he was like a, a late finisher. Like he would finish fights in the end of the rounds when he was he was losing first and second round, and he'll catch up to the third round and finish it. Which you know, it's you know, it's amazing. You know, you see that and you're like, wow. I mean, this guy's got heart. And when he fought, you know, Max Holloway, that was his last fight since two years uh, for that belt, and um, you know, it was a it was it, it, it uh, ended in round four by Doctor Stoppage. The doctor saw his his eye, and they were like, "Nope, you can't continue." And you know, he took two years off because he was injured from all those, from all that, from from Brian Ortega. I mean, from from Max Holloway, and I mean himself too, because he broke his arm, he broke his hand, he uh, he broke he broke an orbital, I think, and his orbital bone, and his finger ligaments were fucked up. And um, 
and then he took another more tra you know time off to train his boxing, which uh, you know his he's he's a ju he's already a jujitsu like so jujitsu ju guy. He's trains with the Gracies. The Gracies are uh, the Gracies are like uh, the the people that are well known for Brazilian jujitsu. Their um, their great grandparents like basically created it and um, you know influenced it on the on you know on the way of fighting. You know it's very important now nowadays to know how to use jujitsu and when well, you're an MMA, you know MMA, MMA fighter, it's gonna come in handy. You don't want somebody to just keep taking you down or just leave you down. You want to know how to get out of a position. And, and also, you know, wrestlers, wrestling and jujitsu is different. Wrestling is more about like top game and like being on top. And jujitsu guys don't really care about being on the bottom. They can try to get out that way, is which makes you you know makes them dangerous. Like you never know if they can get you in an arm bar or a triangle with their legs. Their legs are you know your legs are a big weapon. They're probably one of your strongest weapons. Your kicks, you know, kicks are pretty strong. Um, but yeah, going back to the fight, Brian, Brian did a great job. I, 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 I was going for a Korean Zombie. Not gonna lie, I thought he had some hype around him. He was doing well, and maybe if he would have fought him earlier, maybe Brian would have lost. But since he sharpened up and improved his boxing, he kind of caught him off guard. So yeah. Props to props to Brian Ortega. If I would have bet on him, I would have. I mean, I would have bet him against him. I would have lost uh, money. I would have lost some money, man. I would have lost money too against the um, the boxing fight that was later um, later in the night, like at nine. It was um, Lopez Fiotima Lopez versus. Vasily Golovkin and I thought Golovkin was gonna win but you know Golovkin he's coming from what he used to be like a like a featherweight like he was he was going up right and so I mean yeah Lopez more active uh, from the first round to the seventh round you know what did I say Golovkin I say uh, Lamchekov, Lamchekov, <laughs> Lamchekov. He, uh, yeah, Loma. He uh, didn't do that much. He, uh, he was just trying to like um, read him most of the time. He was, um, you know, he was. He was just not that active. And Lopez was hitting him with body shots most of the time, and probably would have. I think he might have slowed him down too. You know, it would have. I think he might have slowed him down, and that's what caused uh, him to lose the first seven rounds. And then he started picking it up after the eighth, but I think it was just too late. Lopez had some good shots in there too. You know, kind of uh, swayed the the judges, and I thought it was a fair one. I thought it was a fair one. Uh, new champ took four belts. Um, and then also the one coming up next is gonna be Habib versus uh, Habib Nurmagomedov. Nurmagomedov. Habib Nurmagomedov. 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 Nurmagomedov, Khabib Nurmagomedov, Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Justin Gaethje. Um, I think Khabib's gonna win this one. Of I feel like I'm, I'm not gonna say of course because like you never know. Justin might throw a bomb in there, and um, well, by bomb I mean uh, a, an overhand or a punch that. But we never really seen Khabib get like rocked like that so never know and uh we never seen get jake gay cheats like wrestling we know that habib's all about that wrestling and then trying to just tire out the, the fighter and then 
him displaying his boxing because he's like, ah, you're slower now, so I'm gonna display my boxing here for a bit and then take you down again and then try to get the finish you know, with a choke or a <clears throat> ground and pound or whatnot. So yeah, I think I think Habib wins it. I think he he retains. And then he fights. If he wins, I think he'll fight um, Connor or Tony. Um, I think that's who's possible. I don't think they'll they'll make it against Michael Chandler unless Michael Chandler could, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, go in as a replacement for uh, Gaethje or or Habib. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, here, guys. Thanks uh, for watching the show, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll be back maybe two weeks from now or whatever, and uh, make another one of these. And I'm gonna subscribe for more of this. I'm sorry I'm a little low energy. I haven't ate anything. You know, I, I only ate, the only thing I drank is this this this, this alcohol called a drink. And um, but thank you for watching, guys. Uh, uh, see you next time. Bye.